Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Team Dragons Vanity Extra Booster box opening. This is the latest Extra Booster set released for the Cardfight Vanguard standard format. It's a really awesome set with some of the best characters, I would say, in the uh, Shinemon arc, including my favorite, Kanzaki. He's also the character whose deck I'm building from this new set, Claret Sword. But it's actually um, uh, not one of the most expensive cards in this set, but it's a really, really good set. I know a lot of stuff is holding value, and I actually got this box for a pretty good price. I think we'll see how I do with this box to determine if I pick up any more, um, you know, from my locals. It's where I actually got this one. I saw that it's for a pretty high price online. Before we begin the video, just wanted to show I was behind showing off some of the monthly shop promos just because I skipped the box from the previous uh, set. Uh, which was the, actually, I got some Bermuda boxes. It was the one beforehand, but still wanted to show off Barco Zebra. I think it was the pri uh, previous month. And then uh, I believe this was February's monthly promo, Masterly Cover Min, which do look very, very nice. I love the congratulations uh, foil and also the zoomed in art on both of these. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box and hopefully we can pull some pretty good stuff. I believe the guaranteed ratios for the extra boosters are usually the uh, two triple rares, the one Vanguard rare, and then the four double rare. The triple rares along with the Vanguard rares are holding some pretty insane prices. The one card I want, which is Claret Sword, is actually, I think, one of the cheapest Vanguard rares in the whole set. So if I pull it, it's good because I pulled one of the cards I wanted, and this box is not going to stay open the way I want it. And it looks like they also are finally advertising uh, card by Vanguard Zero some more, but like I said, if I pull that, it's a bonus. Also, we have the Imaginary Gift Force and Excel. You know, let's go ahead and open it up. I really do wish they would do the card arts for the actual units still, but we get the Imaginary Gift 2 for all of the different uh, clans we have. Do we have Protect? No, we have Excel. Excel and Force in the set, so they I'm very curious that they gave us a Protect marker. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the box. You get 12 packs in every extra booster, so let's see how my luck fares with the set. We have a Voltic Shred Dragon to start us off, and a lot of you have already seen a good amount of the commons, so we'll quickly go through those. We have a Hal Al, and then uh, I usually get the two triggers along with the three cards in the front. We have our rare is Knight of Foolhardiness, Lughold, or Zen I Lughade, I believe. This is for Shadow Paladins. We got a lot of Blaster Dark support that I just realized after I opened all my packs, but still very, very cool. And our first pack is a foil with 12 packs and seven, you know, hollows guaranteed. Uh, the majority are going to be foil packs, but we have Battle Siren and Nerissa for our first double rare, which I definitely do like, you know, when we don't pull the... Uh, Vanguard rare or triple rare right from the first pack. I always like to at least save them for a few packs in at least and hopefully maybe if we're lucky I'll pull a SP or something pretty well known. Let's see we've got a Witch of Chains Ness and we've got our first triple rare. I actually thought it was last card Revan for a second there. Blue Wave Marine General Gallius for our Gallius for our triple rare. Aquaforce, uh, support for more of the rest units. It doesn't specify last card Revan, but is still, I would say, support made specifically for uh, that grade three. Pack number three. And I really do love the color scheme of this pack. The purple, it just looks like Claret Sword all around the pack with its colors, which I think is what they were going for. It is the cover card art for the unit, along with our three characters as well. We've got uh, Spinus Blader Dragon and Analyze Shooter for our first two rare pack. I was going to say double rare, but obviously it's not a double rare pack. It's just the two solo rares in that set. And on to the pack number four. So let's see, another Volt Shred to start us off. Jammer Intruder. Uh, old mage, old dragon mage, dark side trumpeter. We've got blue ward commander for our rare, and our second triple rare out of the way is Morian spear dragon. Now we've already got, like I said, the two triple rares, but the big triple rares were the uh, not voltage horn, uh, Bronwyn, and mighty bolt dragon, and that was it. They are pretty up there in price right now. But Morian spear, still a pretty awesome card for the claret sword support. But let's see. I'm curious to what my vanguard rare will. Be. We're saving it for last now with these packs. 
So let's see, we've got Astute Knight Badadin. Actually, I, I think it's the first time I read that name as well. We've got Knight of Entrancement, Kalit, and we have Onyx Dust Dragon, another pretty good double rare. This is actually Blaster Dark support. It gets boost, and when placed, if Blaster Dark is not on your rear guard, counter blast one, soul blast one, search your deck for up to one Blaster Dark and call it to rear. So more ways to work with more Dread Phantom to easily call Blaster Dark to the rear guard as well for the setup for your force markers, or just in a bunch of other decks that can focus on Blaster Dark as well. And I've already lost count. Of how we've got four foils so far. I believe this is pack number six, but I could be wrong. Let's see. We've got Desert Gunner, Bajan, and Press Stream Dragon for our two rares in this one. So if all goes accordingly, there should be five packs with rares, and we've got six packs remaining, so we're halfway there with still uh, two double rares and a Vanguard rare potentially to pull. Hopefully, maybe something higher rarity as well just have to wait and see if there's potentially anything else. We've got in Flexible Arrow, Muerta, more Blaster Dark support, and Blitz Caliber Dragon, a very interesting power unit just for the Force Markers, but this also, just the restand power, reminds me a lot of the sort of setup you would do with uh, Blaster Javelin in the old uh, series with the Raging Form support. We're going to just put the rest of the packs out like this as I move away some of the garbage as well so we can finish up the final five packs. But onward with them, we've got... Let's see how we do. We've got Witch of Iron Chains, Ness, and another double rare, which, nope, we still got one more after this, Dark Pride Dragon. I would say this is more generic support, but it, like I said, it's more focused on the Claret Sword Dragon support as a whole. And I honestly thought for the longest time, but now looking back on it again, it is a grade two unit for the deck. I could have swore it was a grade one, just with kind of how the way it looks, and they usually like to set up their grade two. Uh, twos as the triple rare support in this set but we've gotten the uh, grade ones that are double rares also all together but let's see four packs we're winding down i don't want to i want to save the vanguard rare for last potentially we've got dragon dancer eloisia and we've got Sharp Split Dragon, but every time we pull these two rare packs, it also makes me nervous just for the fact that uh, one less potential card to pull a you know special SP or is there an SSR in this pack? I can't even remember. Yep, there are the three types of the SSR, which are the Claret Sword, Dragonic Vanquisher, and Last Card Revan, then the six SPs, which are the other types of cards in the set, including I believe more in Spear and also Bronwyn, all those cards also, and then the SVRs, which are the cover card, the Vanguard rares, obviously, with that support. So, three packs remaining, and usually by now I would have pulled a Vanguard rare, so I'm definitely curious to see where it is potentially. We have Witch of Extirpation, Bahira, and oh, we've got Dragon Dancer, Anastasia. So yeah, we're keeping the hype going with this one box. So with this one more double rare, I always loved her art as the double rare. I believe she was another Sentinel as well in uh, G format. But two packs remaining, we have all of our double rares and triple rares pulled. So we could potentially have the Vanguard rare, and we could also potentially have one more additional rarity card. This pack here is going to decide if we pull the Vanguard rare or another card. I'm going to try to carefully because it looks like I've been giving away the cards with the backgrounds here. Blue Wave Recruiter Costi, which is the new starter for Aqua Force. I just don't like to give away any of the foil there. We have Medical Officer of Rainbow Elixir. Our rare is Dragon Dancer Eloisia. And up oh, there we go. Our Vanguard rare for the pack is Last Card Revan. It's not, uh, like I said, Dragonic Vanquisher, I believe, is the most expensive uh, Vanguard rare in the pack. It's not Claret Sword. It's not the most expensive card. So met down the middle with this one. But still, I'd say pretty good trade bait. There are people out there that do want to build Last Card Revan. It's a different take on Aqua Force than, you know, um, Maelstrom and a bunch of other support also. But final pack. This is going to decide it if there is anything left in the box or if this is just a pack with a rare in it. Once again, I'll just move the foils down so I don't spoil myself with the cards. Harbringer Draco Kid, the starter for Narukami. Draw Trigger. Dark Side Trumpeteer. We've got 
Tactical Dagger Dragoon. And our final card is, nope, sadly, just the rare this time. Couldn't luck out with that additional. I, you know, I really am loving the imaginary gift markers we have for this set. But all in all, a very awesome box for sure, I'd say. We couldn't pull the Bronwyn or the Mighty Bolt Dragoon for the triple rares. But, um, you know, I might try my luck a little later on for some of the other cards. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Qualia out.